Okay, so only a few of you on YouTube commented on how my drawings look pretty good. And that gave me a lot of unnecessary reason to make a video on my art style explained. And how I come up with stuff to draw. Or something. I don't know. Step one, think about what in God's good, green, gorgeous, girth, and beyond I could possibly doodle. Because, let's be honest, art block is literally the devil. And we're expected to fight it. Sometimes it's easy for me to fight art block because there's a lot of stuff that goes on in my head. Lego Dimensions, you're gonna need a bigger imagination. My imagination is way bigger than yours. When you're drawing on paper, the paper gets stained by either ink or graphite. So when people like your art, they're admiring the mess you made. But sometimes my mega gargantuan mind grapes don't have the strength or energy to fight art block alone, forcing me to resort to outside sources. I'd often go to YouTube and watch cool or funny videos to try and at least get a little bit of creative inspiration, which works sometimes, but mostly just distracts me. Three hours of YouTube later, with absolutely no thought on what to draw, we move on to step two, actually drawing the thing. Of course, we all know about those guidelines and rough sketches things, right? Yeah. I don't do that. At all. Instead, I just start with a circle and go on from there. Some of you Da Vinci Caprios out there might be thinking, But Cyrus... Guidelines are important. They are literally the backbones of art and animation. Why would you not do that? And the answer is fairly simple. I don't care. This is my art. I can do what I want. I don't do a lot of squash and stretch with my art, so I make room for big or wide mouths with kind of a closed lower eyelid. Because it kind of does look like that when you're smiling so big. For drawing those big smiles, I add a small line to the side of the mouth to represent teeth. Because I've seen at least one or two other art styles do that, and I thought it was the simplest thing to do. As for the eyebrows... What eyebrows? I hardly ever draw eyebrows on my characters. The only time I do draw eyebrows is when the character actually looks good with them. I mean, could you imagine if this well-known dude doesn't have any eyebrows? I can't. It would probably look disgusting, though. There have, of course, been a lot of characters that followed this no-eyebrow trend. And they've all gotten away with tons of expressive... expressions. So let's just do this and move on. For the body and pretty much the shirt, I draw a little tube thing right here. And another thing, I don't draw my character with a neck. I can draw other characters with necks, though. Line. 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 Curve. Line. Curve. Line. And we have a little C shape. C for Cyrus, as you know. So now it looks like I'm wearing a V-neck shirt. I like to keep things simple, so I usually draw little triangles for the sleeves. Which I sometimes raise up if I want to make a shrugging motion. The arms are where things get kind of weird, because I like to draw arms with, like, very twig-thin biceps and, like, very massive forearms. Because there are other art styles that do that. And as I've quickly discovered, with great forearms, come great gargantuan grotesque gorilla grippers. The kind of hands that could hold a golden retriever like a Twinkie. I've had people say I do have pretty big hands, and that ended up making its way into my art. So let's go ahead and add some spicy hot links on there. Marvelous! I don't know when I started doing this, but for some reason I adorn my character with a type of sports tape around the aforementioned Godzilla-sized forearms. I don't know, just... I think it looks good. Do the exact same thing on this arm to the other side. <laughs> now for the legs. Pretty much the ex... Uh, pretty much the exact same process as the arms, but with feet. Don't you dare think about it. No snicker-thick thigh, but full-on calf. Y'all wish you had calves like these. Let's go ahead and add some Air Nike Bok Easy Ditas. You start from the bottom. Go around. Make a big stripe here. And then back around. Add some lines for the top of the shoe. Add some triangles on the same side. And then a sock. There we go. And then same on the other side. Now we add pants or shorts or whatever you want to call them. 
Now, I understand they're shorts, but I add a belt anyway. These kinds of shorts, people wearing sports and stuff, again, I don't care. On each side of the leg, I add a stripe that kind of, uh, kind of curves on the end. So the stripes look like this from the side. I hear this is kind of a weird place to finish, but now we do the hair. We add a line and another line and another line and another line and another line. Spikes! And there you go. That's how I draw me. Truly a spitting image! And then whenever I feel like it, I draw it digitally. So congratulations, you now know how I draw the way I draw. I understand a lot of people don't follow my YouTube channel, so not everyone would get to see most of my work. Look. At. All of this! And even though I'm quite comfortable with this style, I have been practicing to draw more human figures. Like, I drew this rocker chick just a couple weeks ago. Like, it, it, it looks more realistic, you see? Like... Yeah, I'm proud of it. I am. So that was my art style explained. I like it, I'm proud of it, and I'm glad all you guys like it too. Well, most of you. Who are these ungrateful crust holes? Alright, finished the video in about a week. So, what did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you not care at all? If so, then why did you watch this video? Okay, leave a like, a comment, share this to other people who might like art, and subscribe to my channel if you want. Okay, goodbye, see you later. Video's over.